One year ago, the West Washington High School community in southern Indiana started enduring a tragedy. A shocking stroke on the sidelines took the life of the senator's beloved head coach, Philip Bowsman. Tyler Griever is visiting the senators again as their community carries his spirit in hopes of winning a state title. We all had chills just driving down the road, just reading all these signs about how much this community leans on football, how much we just mean to it. When you go to West Washington, there are signs. We know that we're not alone. A cross. I do feel like he's here with us. And a phrase. He said all the time to the kids to be special. It's all in loving memory of a coach, Philip Bowsman. The 16-year senator head coach suffered a stroke during the team's semi-state playoff game last season. And three days later, a day after his daughter's birthday, he died at the age of 44. His son Holden, the starting quarterback, remembers finding out. I was sitting at the kitchen table and mom called and I thought I was going to have a concussion because I just fell and hit my head on the table, just losing it. And I considered uh, Coach Bowsman to be my best friend. A tremendous friend, an amazing mentor to young men and women. I coached with him for 20 years. We uh, often talk about our team as a family. He's the one that set that direction for us as a program. He loved all these guys just as much as he loved me. Uh, he never picked favorites, and he was an amazing leader and amazing dad. As condolences poured in and the days passed by, they understandably struggled to move forward. To do this uh, uh, without him is difficult. I would be lying if I said it wasn't. Everything that was going on, no one really wanted to come out here and practice. But uh, we all knew deep down that he would want us out here, and this is where we all became brothers. Their family has been their strength. What he was trying to say was you got to find that special part deep down inside. You got to feed off of that when the time calls. He had many sayings and one of them was you got to ride the highs together and climb out of the valleys together as well. This undefeated squad is close to its peak back in the semi state round where a nightmare stroke and loss happened with a chance for a dream to come true. We all said when we were in third grade that we wanted to win a state title. There's a sign in our locker room, one team, one dream, at the picture of Lucas Oil Stadium. And uh, they had t-shirts made when they were young. A win would make these Senators just the second team in school history to go to the state final. And these guys have been playing the football together for a long time, and they're all bought into it, and that's really the, the big difference from this year. I just don't think people thought we could do it by ourselves. Of course, they're not alone. But I do feel like uh, there are moments where he shows himself. You know, I know he's always with me, but just to know that every time I touch a towel, that I'm touching something more than just a towel. As hard as tragedy can be, it can also be a major binding effect. And we went through it together, and it's just made us a closer team. That's what makes this group special. Reporting from Campbellsburg, Tyler Griever, WHAS 11 News.